hi guys welcome to tila's fashion on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i draft cut and attach a one piece collar to a shirt pattern please don't forget to hit that subscribe button like this video and leave a comment down below first thing i'm going to do is measure the total length of the neckline of the shirt so i'm just going to open it up and use my measuring tape to measure it out On a measurement I'm going to take is the small area between where one side of the shirt ends and the sewing line as indicated in the video. So now we can get on to drafting the pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw out a reference line and we're going to be taking all our measurements from this reference line. Then I'm going to take 2 centimeters above that reference line and I'm going to use this to form the curve that's the color is supposed to have then you remember the 16 inches that we got from the length of the neckline this is where i'm going to put it but i'm going to divide it by two because this color is cut on fold so i'm going to divide the length of the neckline by two and i'm going to attach it from that two centimeter and just try to form a curve from there as shown there are two parts of this collar which we're going to join together that's why it's called the one piece collar that's the collar stand and the collar itself so now we're going to make the collar stand and i'm going to measure 3 cm throughout the length of this and i'm just going to mark it out and draw it out but i'm also going to make sure that i make this edge round for aesthetics this area is always rounded so i'm just going to do that as shown in the video now i'm going to take the little measurements that i took earlier from the end of one side of the shirt to the sewing line and i'm just going to mark that out i actually got 2 cm earlier so i'm just going to mark out the 2 cm now next i'm going to measure the height of the collar and the two ends would be different heights to the left i'm taking 4 cm and to the right i'm taking 8 cm So I'm just going to measure out a reference line from that 8 cm and just draw it down and then I'm going to extend or mark out 2 cm away from that 8 cm because I want to draw this out to give it the shape that the color would usually have and then I'm going to connect those lines together. So this is how the color is looking now but we will also have to add a seam allowance to it so i'm going to measure half cm around it and just draw it out
so i cut out two pieces of this because both the inner and the outer part of the collar is going to be showing out so you need to cut out two pieces of the same fabric or different fabric if you want just depends on how you want it to look but just keep in mind that both sides of the collar is going to be showing i also went ahead to trim out the half cm seam allowance that we added to the pattern that we drafted and then after trimming it out i used it to cut out the fabric wording so the fabric wording is the same size as the fabric except that it excludes the seam allowance so i'm going to turn this over and place them right side facing each other and then i'm going to just sew around the seam allowance also while you're sewing make sure to start and stop where the wording starts and stops So now I'm going to attach the collar to the neckline and what I'm going to do here is try to get the middle of the neckline and also try to get the middle of the collar. And this will just help me to stitch the collar onto the neckline more accurately. So to attach the collar onto the neckline I am going to separately attach the two sides to the neckline so i'm going to attach the first side to it and i'm just going to sew it on it just like how it's shown in this video and then the second side of it i'm going to fold it in and sew on top of it
okay guys we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching till the end i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please don't forget to give this video a big like hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below thank you and i'll see you in my next video